Hello all, welcome to the SolidWorks tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to draw the parts and assembly of old arm coupling using SolidWorks. Open SolidWorks, click new and create a new part. First I am going to draw the flange. I am selecting right plane, click sketch. Now draw a circle, go to smart dimensions and mark the outer diameter as 100 mm. Go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to a thickness of 20 mm. Next select the surface, click sketch and select circle. So to view the sketch plane in the normal direction, you can use the shortcut Ctrl plus 8. Now go to Smart Dimensions and mark the diameter as 60 mm. Then go to Features, click Extrude and extrude this to a depth of 30 mm. Next I am going to draw the central hole. Select the surface, click sketch and draw a circle. And its diameter is 30 mm. Next to draw the key slot, select the corner rectangle and draw a rectangle here. Now go to Smart Dimensions and mark the height of the rectangle as 4mm and the width is 10mm. Now go to Line and draw a line from the center to the center of this perpendicular line. Now select this line and make it as vertical. Again select this line and select for construction. Okay. Now to fix the vertical height, click control, select this point and this circle and make it as coincidence. Now go to trim entities and trim the unwanted regions. Now go to features, click extruded cut and extrude this up to the surface. Click OK. Next I am going to create the extrude. So select the surface, click sketch, and draw a corner rectangle, then go to convert entities and select this circle and convert it. Now go to Smart Dimensions and mark the width of this region as 12 mm and the height from the center is 6 mm. Now go to Trim Entities and trim the unwanted regions. Now go to Futures. Click Extruded Cut and extrude this to a depth of 10 mm. Next I am going to apply the material, right click on the material and I am selecting Plain Carbon Steel. Next I am going to save it, click Ctrl S and save this as part number 1. Now close this, click new and create a new part. Select the right plane, click sketch, draw a circle of diameter 100 mm. Now to extrude this go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this 
to a thickness of 10 mm. Now select the surface, click sketch and draw a corner rectangle of height 12 mm and from the center it is 6 mm. Go to convert entities, select this outer edge, click OK. Now go to trim entities and trim the unwanted regions. So do the trim carefully. Fine. Now go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to a depth of 12 mm. Similarly select the surface, click sketch and draw a corner rectangle of width 12 mm and from the center its distance is 6 mm. Go to convert entities, select this edge, click OK. Now go to trim entities and trim the unwanted regions. As I said earlier, do the trim carefully. Okay. Now go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to a thickness of 12 mm. Next I am going to apply the material, right click on the material and apply plain carbon steel. Click Control S to save it and this is my part number 2. Close this. Now create a new part. And my third part is the shaft. So right click on uh, right plane. Draw a circle with a diameter of 30 mm. So the length is not given. So I am extruding this to a length of 80 mm. Then select the surface, click sketch. Now I am going to make the key slot. Select the corner rectangle and draw a rectangle. And the height of the rectangle is 4 mm. And the width is 10 mm. To fix the horizontal position, draw a line from the center to the center of this rectangle. Now select this line and make it as vertical and for construction. Now to fix the height, click control, select this line and the select the outer edge of the circle and make it as tangent. Now go to features, select extruded cut and extrude this to a length of 60 mm. So this dimension I am taking it approximately as the length of the key is 50 mm. Okay. Now right click on the material and select the material. Click Ctrl S to save the part and this is my part number 3. Next I am going to draw the key. So create a new part. Select right plane, click sketch and draw a rectangle of dimensions. 10 mm into 10 mm and extrude this to a length of 50 mm. Now right click on the material and apply plain carbon steel. Now save this as part number 4. Now we have created the parts. Next time I am going to assemble it. So create a new assembly. So start with uh, part number one. Next go to insert components and insert the part number two. Next I am going to mate this. Go to mate. 
select these two surfaces and choose coincident. Similarly, select these two phases and choose coincident. Next, select the two circumference and make it as concentric. Now go to insert components. Again insert the component number 1. Now I am rotating this with respect to Y. Go to mate. Choose these two surfaces and make it as coincident. Then again, the second coincident mate and finally the concentric mate. No good insert components. Insert the shaft. Go to mate. Choose these two circular surfaces and make it as concentric. And the side face of the key slot and make it as coincident. Now to fix the vertical direction, I am going to hide the coupling body. Next go to mate and select these two surfaces and make it as coincidence. Now again go to insert components, insert component number 4. I am rotating this with respect to Y. Now go to mate, select the two circular surfaces and make it as concentric. Similarly, select the two key slots and make it as coincident. Then to fix the horizontal distance, hide this. Go to mate and fix this. Next, I am going to assemble the key. Go to insert component, insert part number 4. Choose mate, select the bottom surface of the key and make it as coincident. Similarly, the side face and make it as coincident. And the two faces of the shaft and the key and make it as coincident mate. Again go to insert component and insert component number 4, choose mate, select the two bottom surfaces and make it as coincident, similarly select the two side faces and make it as coincident Then finally select the front face of the shaft and the key and make it as coincident. Now you can unhead these two parts. So now we have completed the assembly of the Oldham coupling. Thank you.